This is a material for future, and uh, I have no doubt about it. Your mother always told you that things that seemed too good to be true probably weren't because she'd never seen this. It's going to be the next bubble wrap. That might be the undersell of the year. This creation is something of a miracle product. It works like a sponge. When we first introduced you to Afsana Rabi six years ago, she and her lab at North Carolina State University were seven years into a project with the National Science Foundation to create what she calls a metal foam. Cylinders filled with air suspended uniformly in what seems like the metallic equivalent of meringue pie. When it's put under as much as 50,000 pounds of pressure, instead of deforming and cracking like solid metal would, it slowly absorbs the energy. Back in 2010, Professor Rabi saw it as a way to improve joint replacements or even to soften a 30 mile an hour crash so that it feels like a five mile an hour fender bender. So the same size material, the same amount of load, you see that this one is damaged so badly mm -hmm. where this one is protected by the yeah, foam. So imagine you put this one behind the bumper and you have an accident and this one will protect you where this one just transferred the load to the, to the car and the body of the passenger. So this one is 300 gram, and this one, even though it's aluminum, with steel added to it, is almost half the weight. Which makes for much greater energy efficiency. And over the years, Professor Rabi has found other life-saving uses for it. Different agencies who really need it now, they, they, they want to uh, use it for soldiers' protection today. And that, believe me, that it's really my dream to be able to help people and you know, protect their lives. That's not just talk. Professor Rabi is creating a jacket that can stop a bullet in the way today's vests can't. You'd think businesses would be clamoring to get this on the market, and they are, but it takes time to do it right. It's just a matter of time, and uh, I'm um, confident that it will get there. My hope is that at least, you know, I see the beginning of that while I, I'm still alive. <laughs> Bob Buckley, Fox 8 News.